Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that Joe Biden possibly soiled himself in Normandy, France for the D-Day commemoration. Uh, This is Joe Biden in an awkward position squatting next to Emmanuel Macron and Jill Biden. People look kind of confused as to what he's doing. And then uh, after the ceremony, Jill Biden ushers Joe away while Macron goes to greet the World War II veterans. The speculation coming from many people is that Joe Biden had an accident at the ceremony for World War II commemoration and was supposed to stay to meet the veterans, but was scuttled away, scuttled away. Well, I have the video here for you and I'll describe it. and We'll talk about this. Uh, If I was going to make a bet, If someone came to me and said, good, sir, Tim, would you like to place money down on whether or not Joe Biden pooped himself? I would bet he did. It's not the first time we've heard this story. There was a rumor circulating out of Rome that when Biden went to meet the pope, he had an accident and they had to like change his clothes or something. Now, Snopes and many fact checkers say it's false. It's not true. And I'm like, well, it's not that it's not true. It's unproven. People have made the claims. Now, here's here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, the media will come out and say, no way. The liberals are going to come out and be like, oh, come on, he didn't poop his pants. Dude is 81, okay? I did the research. I'm sorry. Around 30% of people over the age of 80 wear adult diapers. I don't mean to disparage the elderly. It will happen to the best of us. We have all, in a period in our lives, pooped our pants. We were babies and toddlers, and we had diapers. And as you get older... There is a reason they sell these products. I do not believe there is any indignity in recognizing that when you get old, you need modern conveniences to keep yourself clean. Look, it's, it's there are a lot of great people in this world who have done a lot of great things. There will come a point in my day where I, too, perhaps will need adult diapers. It is certainly not today. And uh, I don't I don't see any 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 uh, reason to fault someone. Now, that being said. A person can, who cannot hold their bladder or who is suffering from what is called fecal incontinence should not be president. Now, I know the liberals are going to say Tim is biased. He doesn't like. But this is why I'm biased. This is why this is it. It's these videos. OK, you want to know why I'm like, wow, we can't do this anymore. We can't do this. And Donald Trump's old, too. He's an old guy. He's 77. And, and I'm not I'm not super excited about it, but I'll take the no new wars. But you want the liberals are saying, yo, you just are saying this about Biden because you're biased. This, this is it. <laughs> Let me play the video for you guys. I don't think there's any sound. Yeah, there's no sound in the video. All right. So so here you have Biden shaking the hands of Emmanuel Macron. And then he leans over and just begins to do this squat, this weird half squat. Oh, comes up a little bit. Oh, goes back down. What's he doing? Go, go, goes back up, comes back down. Dude, the first thing I thought when I saw this was, holy crap, he's pooping. He's, he's pooping. He can't hold it in. And there's nothing he can do about it. There's, I'm sorry, you, okay, I tell you this, liberals, you explain to me what he was doing. You explained to me what the weird half squat lift, half squat thing was, and then why Jill Biden ushers him away at the end of the ceremony without greeting and meeting the veterans. You explain that to me. I will take any explanation other than the U.S. president took a dump on stage at the at the Normandy D-Day commemoration. Here we go. This is the uh, I saw the one already. We have this um, MJ Truth Ultra. I don't know what it is, but I just saw this on uh, 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 this, this is what's going around. He said, anyone with young children knows exactly what just happened. Biden just made a stinky in his pants. Dude, I thought the same thing when I saw it. I didn't need I I wake up and I'm like, what is this? Is Joe Biden pooping? Look. Dave Rubin, pooping or sitting on an invisible chair? This is what I'm saying. Okay, you explain to me exactly what it is Joe Biden is doing right now as he squats back. And he's got the grimace on his face, too. You 
you tell me what that is? I'll take any ex. Oh, he uh, he was looking down. At, there was a frog on the stage somehow, and he was he was taking a look at. It. Is that a frog? Is what's going on down there? Come on, guys. He's eighty-one years old. Okay, I got the math for you pulled. Oh uh, yeah, do I got the math pulled up right here? Chat GPT, take it away. What uh, uh, I put what the what the percentage of people over eighty who suffer from fecal incontinence? Approximately eight and ten people, eight and ten percent of eight and ten people, eight and ten to ten percent of people over the age of eighty suffer from fecal incontinence. The condition is more common in older adults due to factors such as weakened pelvic floors. And I said, what are some of the visible signs someone is suffering? And without reading the the grosser things, frequent bathroom visits, avoidance behaviors, and that's where I think we should uh, avoidance behaviors. Here's the Hodge twins. They said the same thing. Biden just pooped his diaper. I'm so, I'm so, what, what did the RNC research say? They say awkward and a, and a, and a, a wincing face. Because what is he doing, man? Here we go. Kevin Dalton with this video. Check it out. Joe Biden. Th- and this is, look, this is 8.30 a.m. This video of Biden being whisked away is before all of the, he must have pooped his pants. Look at this. He's being whisked away by Jill. Just uh, let's get out of here. Let's just walk away. And there they go, leaving. And then the camera pans over, and there's Macron rushing over to greet the veterans. There, there he runs over, and he starts shaking hands. And uh, Joe, um, this has got to be a mistake. I think it's a mistake. I'm being tricked, right? We're, we're being punked. Joe Biden did stick around to meet these people, but this video's out of context. Is that what happened? Well, Kevin Dalton is... Uh, Twitter, I don't, he doesn't have, is about to explain his job. He says, Joe Biden is whisked away mid-ceremony by his wife and handler while French President Macron was left to greet veterans by himself. Really? Brian Beatty, uh, he says, with every day and every event, it becomes more obvious he can't even last through a D-Day ceremony. Yo, this is, this is, I don't know, man. I think maybe there is audio. I just don't have it turned on or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I just don't have the audio turned on. Let me see. Is there audio on this? Okay. All right. So let's play the audio of the video and see what's going on. There's playing music. And the music stops. And then Biden does. Distinguished guests. Why do you think? Please welcome the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin. Yeah, I think I think he's pooping. Uh, I think he's pooping. We got George Alexopoulos says anyone who's ever raised, grew up around or babysat toddlers knows what that is. I got to be honest, man. I've seen the toddler squat. You all have. People know what kid, kids beat. Biden be pooping. Here we go. Well, here's the actual story. Biden to make his first state visit to France after attending D-Day 80th commemorations next week. That was the story. And of course, this is from last week. But this is what we are, we are watching now. It's not the first time. We have this from April from the Huffington Post. Donald Trump suggests Joe Biden did, did uh, what is it? Suggest Joe Biden did really disgusting thing on desk. No, he didn't. Shut up. These people, I swear to God. The former president reportedly made the crude remark at a fundraiser over the weekend. Guys. The left is going to come out. The liberals are going to come out and they're going to say, you're just trying to smear Joe. Listen, according to Gallup, I should pull this up. OK, because we did this last night and we were all just like pretty shocked. Most important problem, Gallup calls it. Do you know the most important problem right now is for people? It is the government poor leadership. Now, of course, there are people who are going to say, well, that could mean Trump. That could mean. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean Trump. Trump's not in government. This is incredible. Government poor leadership has been a a major issue throughout the past several months. Right. One of the top. But immigration was 27 percent. Immigration in April was the largest single issue among voters. As of May 24, it is now government poor leadership. My friends. You say to me, Tim, you are just trying to smear and insult Joe Biden. I say, no, the reason why I don't like Joe Biden is because he poops his pants on stage. I don't know for sure that he did. Okay, I'm just saying we're at a point now where there is a reason why these accusations keep popping up. And it is not because 
It is not because we don't like Joe Biden. It's the other way around. <clears throat> My friends, according to Gallup, the number one issue as of as of May is government poor leadership. This is 21 percent of people. They asked, what's the most important issue? They say Biden is too old and his brain don't work. And my friends, this is evidence of that. OK, listen, when they polled people in May and these people said Biden is a bad leader and I'm freaking out over it. These people had not yet seen the video from D-Day where, where Biden's doing the half squat. They didn't see that video. And so then they're like, I think something's wrong with Biden. And then a month goes by and the video comes up today, this morning, and they're going, yep. And then Democrats are going to go, no, no, you're just saying that, dude. This is why we're saying it. I don't, I, I, you know, I just don't think they're, look, here's a story from Huffington Post. <clears throat> Donald Trump implied that President Joe Biden defecated on a desk used by several presidents in the White House. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Jeez, these people are nuts. At a Florida fundraiser on Saturday, Trump blamed Biden's policies for an increase in immigrants, et cetera, et cetera. The resolute desk is beautiful, Trump said. Ronald Reagan used it. Others used it. Adopting a disgusted tone, he said, and he's using it. I might not use it next time. It's been soiled. And I mean that literally, which is sad. The source in attendance relayed that dinner guests laughed and that Mr. Trump's remark was interpreted as the former president saying that Mr. Biden had defecated on the desk. No. No. The implication is that Joe Biden was sitting at the desk and soiled himself, and that has sullied the desk and everything about it. Trump did not literally say Joe Biden jumped up with all of his with the last remaining ounce of energy he had and took a dump right on the desk. That's stupid. But of course, they have to take what Trump says and convert it into something as silly as possible so it doesn't make sense. Because if you go to the average person and say, do you think that Joe Biden climbed on top of the Resolute desk, pulled his pants down, took a dump right on top of it? It'd be like, no, geez, what? Why would you think that? OK, do you think that Joe Biden sitting at the desk doing work crapped his pants? Yeah, that's a possibility. That's what Trump is talking about. But you see, that one's realistic. The source in attendance relayed that dinner guests laughed. False scuttlebutt. They say false circulated that in 2021, Biden pooped his pants during a visit with Pope Francis. Trump himself was accused of having an accident on the golf course in 2017. But that allegation didn't come from Biden. Trump launched another. Let's let's pull that up. You know, one good turn deserves another. Did Trump experience diarrhea on a golf course? A widely circulated photograph with a stain on the presidential image. False. You see, I'd, I'd love it. If uh, when they wrote Trump was accused of having an accident, they went on to explain false. So it says uh, the image reached for audience fake news article. It's a manufactured image. It is fake. Now, as for Joe Biden, you see, this is April 10th, 2017. This is what they do. Here's Snopes. Did Biden poop his pants in Rome? They say false as well. OK, but why do they say false? Because there's no evidence. That doesn't mean false that you, you, you're not proving anything. OK, so the question is, did Biden poop his pants? Quote, the word around Rome is that Biden's meeting with the Pope was was unusually long because Biden had a bit of an, a bathroom accident at the Vatican and it had to be addressed prior to him leaving. I know we joke often about this, but this is an actual rumor going around Rome right now. An actual rumor is not fact. Fair point. It's not. But it is true that Biden's meeting was unusually long, delayed, and people were wondering what was happening. Maybe someone made up that rumor because they're like, hey, we, here's an attack vector. But I tell you, when they make a fake image of Trump and we know it's a gag image meant to be satire. OK, that's false. It was a joke. When Joe Biden has an actual meeting and it's reported a rumor is going around that he soiled himself and it's not the first time, it's the third time. Well, I should say it's the third of three, but this was the second time a rumor had circulated. You know, you just say, I wonder. I don't know. I wonder. Does that mean it's false? No. You can put unproven. Snopes has an unproven rating. They say Biden, of course, is not the only president to have an unflattering and untrue rumors. You see how they, you see how they do this? They're really scared. Like, no, don't insult Joe Biden. We're going to make sure we mention that Donald Trump was also accused. Uh-huh. Uh, Trump had been, uh, someone claimed, oh, there you go, the room was based on a fake photo, I appreciate that, that he peed his pants for during a public uh, 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 appearance in Tennessee, a real photo misinterpreted, and that he had once worn his pants backwards, 
a claim based on Ill, ill-fitting pants. This is funny yet, yet. That people are just loving to make this stuff up. The next year, a guy wearing his trousers backwards. He was not wearing his pants backwards. That is that is weird. Ill-fitting pants. I don't think Trump put his pants on backwards. Where we're currently at right now, my friends. Following Trump's guilty verdict, first swing state poll reveals how it's impacted voters' decisions. There's still no hard conclusive data. At the very best, I, I think it's fair to say, did the guilty verdict affect people's uh, uh, perception and opinion on the election? The answer is no. It's, it's static and noise. There are some polls among independents showing Trump is doing really well, but he was already doing really well. There's some polls before the guilty verdict where Biden was up. Now Trump is up. I'm talking about like a single poll where it's like Biden up one and the same polling company does the same poll again a few like a week later and Trump is up. For the most part, it is still a bit all over the place. Here we go. A new poll shows why to be skeptical of voters changing their mind. They say a poll conducted for 19th News shows little effect on the presidential contest from Trump's guilty verdict. I can appreciate that, Washington Post. You're a garbage organization and you're going out of business soon. So good luck to you. ABC says Trump's convictions may be hurting him, but it's early. See, this is clickbait <clears throat> because I think it's fair to say the, fine, the, the, the guilty verdict has backfired in the sense that Trump has raised $141 million plus. A pledge for $100 million from Miriam Adelson has overwhelmingly been fantastic for the president. But polling is a bit erratic. It's a bit erratic. Politico says a poll, uh, a polling Dover finds Trump lead shrank after guilty verdict. Did it? Trump's three point lead over Biden before the jury rendered his verdict shrank to just one point. Respondents were quizzed after the decision, says who? New York Times, Siena. OK, here's the aggregates. Uh, June 6th, latest polling, RCP. General election, Trump up one. This is Emerson. General election with Kennedy Stein in the West. Trump is up six. Yet yeah, Kennedy is hurting Joe Biden. Then we have uh, Wednesday, but these are all state polls. We do have a general election from Economist showing it. It's a tie. June 4th, general election. Trump is up. General uh, morning council. Rasmussen, Trump up five. Rasmussen, Trump with Kennedy, Stein and West. Trump is up five. June 3rd, general election. Tie. General election. All candidates tie. uh, Sunday 2nd, general election. Biden up one. Saturday, June 1st, Trump is up two in the general Another poll from Forbes. Trump is up two. It's relatively static. No, it's, it's static and noise. We don't know for sure. I think it is fair to say the polls remain unaffected. Some polls have improved. Some polls show a tie. I think it's fair to say, personally, my opinion is we do have some polling showing an improvement. However, considering the plethora of polls, it's hard to decipher anything as to whether or not Trump's polling is improving. Some have improved. Fact. Some have improved. Um, but his fundraising has absolutely improved. And I think that's the, the, the bigger marker here. Now, if we go to 538. We can see that Trump's aggregate is actually it's, it's relatively stable. It looks like Trump's aggregate approval is stable. If you look at uh, May 28th, 1.4, 1.2. Then on the 30th, 1.7. 31st, 1.4. Then it goes to 1.2. Then back to 1.4. It's it's noise. It's relatively stable. When we look at the latest polls that 538 is displaying, they only have a couple from after the guilty verdict. They have Morning Consult and uh, and YouGov. One shows a tie and the other shows Trump is up. You've got a May 31st poll, but that's day of the uh, 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 that's a day after the verdict. Maybe you can say it's fair. I don't know. I think most people aren't hearing the news right away. And you're going to need a week or two with the billboard saying Trump's a convicted felon to see if this is actually going to have an impact directly on Donald Trump in this race. In the meantime, I do think it's fair to point out it is D-Day and these photos are absolutely incredible. So while this segment is, has been relatively silly, this is an article from Breitbart, D-Day in photos, the free men of the world marching together to victory. It really is some incredible. Uh, it, it really is incredible. And I will give a shout out to all the veterans, World War II veterans. My grandfather was one. Uh, rest in peace. And to those that are alive today, it is truly incredible what these men did. And um, I am envious for the honor and integrity that were that was on display with the young men of the United States during World War II that we do not have today at the same level. I envy it. I don't envy the way things were back then. I mean, there are certain things you can pick and choose that were better and a lot was not as good. You know, there are a lot of bad things, a lot of, you know, we, we've, we've, we've improved quite a bit. 
my point is just that, you know, I, I like the freedoms that we've expanded upon. Our gun rights have improved uh, to a great degree in, in, in the past couple of decades. And this is this is true. I know the, the, the National Firearms Act sucks. But when we're looking at D.C. versus Heller and the expansion of uh, shall issue states and constitutional carry. Yeah, gun rights are, are expanding. We're doing a lot of great things. Free speech is, is, has been expanded dramatically. We used to have blasphemy laws. But I look back at the these young men. The valor, the honor, the integrity, the willingness to do hard work and sacrifice. And I wish we had more of that today. I wish we had more of that today. These photos are absolutely uh, stunning. March 1944, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, commander of the invasion of Europe. Crazy. Look at this. 6th of June, 1944, members of an American armored unit seen here being lined up for a briefing from their commanding officer prior to receiving their D-Day assignments. You know what I want to do? So I have probably about 90% of Life magazines ever. Life magazine, you know, it's amazing. And I was reading one from just before D-Day. And boy, they they did not know D-Day was coming. The public was not being told that the U.S. was planning an invasion to storm the beaches of Normandy and, and, and you know, fight the Nazis. They, we, they, they weren't told that. The reporting that... Uh, that I see in the magazine, because there's a bunch of them I should probably go through because it may be different. But the one magazine I'd, I've read so far says that the U.S. was helping to bolster the defenses of the U.K. to protect them from invasion. I'm like, oh, is that what they were doing? Man, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine these these young men staring down death to storm the beaches to to have a a massive disadvantage and to win it's something else it's something else you know these brave men being told these boats are going to make their way to the beach and you are going to run out and many of you will die and they said okay that's incredible it's incredible i wish we had that kind of patriotism but you know what the problem we have now in this country we haven't declared war since then it has been despotic evil running this country and um, we still have tremendous men and women in uniform who serve this country. And it breaks my heart, the, the, the manipulation and abuse of these, of these young men and women right now that are trying to fight for the, right, for the right thing and are being manipulated by the Biden administration and their garbage military industrial complex cohorts into fighting wars for garbage reasons, not for the honor and integrity of defending this nation, but for hegemonic petrodollar power and other garbage makes me sad. This stuff inspires me. And so I say unto you, good viewer, dear viewer, when you are thinking about what you must do to make this world a better place and to fight and win a culture war and for this nation, think about how much easier you have it today than these veterans did when they stormed the beaches of Normandy. You should get fit. You should eat right. You should ask yourself why it is these young men are all so fit and ready and capable. And today, the average weight of an American is 200 pounds male and 150 to 60 for a female. Why is that? You can do better. You can be like these men and you owe it to them for they handed you. The freedom that you so cherish. They were willing to die so that one day. They could look you in the eye, young man, young woman, and say, we did it for you. Warms my heart. At the very least, I say this, you owe these men, and not just these men, but all of our veterans who have fought and those who have died. Go to Arlington Cemetery and say to those tombs, to those gravestones, to those men, explain to them why you're unwilling to be fit, to be healthy, and to fight for your country. God bless the troops. Shout out to the veterans who make all this possible so that morons like me can complain on the Internet while people are willing to sacrifice everything to 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 give the next generation something good. I'll leave it there. Getting all emotional. Next segment's coming up at 1 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you all then.